Welcome once again to our continuing YouTube series focusing on business acquisitions. My name is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal and in this particular YouTube video we're looking to discuss some tips and ideas with respect to acquiring a restaurant or a bar or starting a new restaurant or bar whether it's a franchise system or a non-franchised independent system. And one of the biggest tips that I can provide you with, and I can tell you from experience of seeing other clients of mine, how they have not engaged in this properly, is failing to properly investigate the customer base and the traffic that's available to them. Now, what I'm talking about is actually spending time at critical hours and all types of hours to get an idea as to what the demographic is, the amount of traffic, the interest, the client base in the surrounding area for that particular restaurant or bar. So what you need to be doing is before you're committing, because this is a major commitment, we're talking generally about hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not sometimes millions of dollars is being invested both in actual money and actually time that's spent in support of a business over a long period of time. That what you really should be doing because it really costs you nothing from an outside standpoint is actually finding out what kind of traffic, what kind of people are in the general vicinity at all hours of the day. So what we're talking about, what we're talking about during different points in the week. What, what's the traffic like? What's the demographic like? What's the cust potential customer base like? Midday, early day, early evening, throughout the course of the evening, and then later in the night. What kind of people are there? I know this is, might not sound politically correct, but the thing is, it's your customer base. You want to be knowing what kind of c prospective customers are in the vicinity, and you want to be driving around, seeing like what people are doing, what people are doing at other locations. And this is going to give you, start to give you a good sense as to where this location stands relative to other possible locations. Now, how do you build this out? What do you do next? Well, one of our suggestions would be to either, if you're in a franchise system, you wanna go look at other franchise locations and see what kind of traffic they're attracting and trying to get a sense of how busy they are and how profitable they are. Because oftentimes you'll find out about these profitable franchise locations or profitable restaurants and there are certain key indices that you'll notice, you'll pick up on, you should be able to, as to why this location is doing better than other locations. Is it the, the, the type of people, you can tell by the cars they're driving, the, the businesses that are surrounding it, um, the crowds that are there later at night, and the crowds you don't necessarily want to be there later at night. Then also you want to take a look at your competition. There's readily apparent what your competition is. How close are they? And what kind of clientele are they attracting? You want to go drive around after looking at the lo location you're spotting out. What kind of people are in that area? Because are they the same people? Are they willing to go from one neighborhood to the next? Or are they more likely to just move into your neighborhood and skip over that other neighborhood? These are considerations you really have to put some time into and take the time. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will set you on the right footing for moving forward. You'll get a sense as to whether people are legitimately interested in walking to your neighborhood. I have seen far too many times that people set up restaurants and bars in neighborhoods and the clientele that they're looking for are averse to coming into that particular neighborhood. They're more comfortable in staying in the neighborhood that they're in right then and there because they feel safer and more comfortable in it or they don't have to walk so far. These are considerations you really have to take into account. If you're not taking them into account, you're just setting yourself up for problems down the road because there's so many different managing points that you can determine. Naturally, if you've engaged a realtor, you wanna talk with the realtor about this. If you've engaged a lawyer, you talk to a lawyer if they're familiar with this aspect of the business. And you run by those kind of questions. 
you take a look at this. You, you read stuff in books on the internet. You go to seminars. But the thing is, you can only gauge whether or not this is the appropriate location and if the business should be commercially viable by looking at it, addressing it, and discussing it with professionals specifically. Even if you're franchising, even talk to the franchisor. And if you're buying an existing business, realize that you're not going to change the demographics and how people react to stuff that much. Yes, you can get some minor changes into effect, but those are going to be minor. If you're coming in and the location is already not really doing well and not drawing because the person, the original owner, failed to select the appropriate location, what are you expecting to do? To lift up the business and transport it to somewhere else? Not really going to happen. What you need to be doing is making sure that before you make the commitment, make the investment, that you know this is either the right or the wrong place for you. And that requires time on your part. You can't necessarily leave it to chance or leave it to somebody else. That is a mistake that I see all too often with previous clients who come to me later and having trouble with their business. You do not want to be in that same boat. You want to make, you want to be confident going in. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you again.